How are we doing everybody? We're going to be multiplying polynomials today. So many of you have probably heard the expression FOIL, F-O-I-L. And I'm not going to demonstrate FOIL today, but I'm going to do something that's the exact same process. The difference is FOIL only works with two binomials like we have here. But when I show it, I, I'm going to have a different focus. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do when I'm multiplying here is I'm going to take the term that's in the first parenthesis, the first term in the first parenthesis, and I'm going to distribute that to everything in the other parenthesis. So when I multiply x times x, I get x squared. x times 3, I get 3x. I have used this up by go sending it to everything in the other parenthesis. Now that I've used that up, I'm going to include the sign with the second term, and I'm going to distribute that to everything in the other parenthesis. So negative 5x and negative 15. And I finish it off by combining the like terms. x squared minus 2x minus 15. That's the whole thing. That's, that's how you do it. Now, the big focus here was instead of first, outer, inner, last, I wanted you to think of distributing multiple terms. So I want you to give this one a try. You can, and this one as well. And please pause the video, try what we just did, and see how you make out. And I will do that right now, now that you've unpaused the video. So I'm going to distribute x squared plus 3x plus x plus 3. And I combine my like terms, x squared plus 4x plus 3. Let's try this one. g squared minus 2 g, then the negative 7, minus 7 g, plus 14. Combine my like terms, I get g squared minus 9 g plus 14. And there you have it. Let's check the next one out. Here we don't just have to the first power, uh, sorry, not the first power, we don't have a coefficient of 1 for the variable. We have other variables, coefficients, uh, other coefficients for the variable. Boy, I can't talk today. So I'm going to distribute the 3k to 4k, that makes 12k to the second. Then I distribute to the 9 plus 27k. Now I'm going to distribute the negative 1, and that wasn't a good choice for a color. Let's switch that up. How about green? Sure. And then negative 1 times 4k, negative 4k, and negative 9. Combine your like terms, 12k squared plus 23k minus 9. There's your answer. You give this one a try. See how you make out. Now that you've given it a try, let's see what you got. 15x squared minus 35x plus 6x minus 14. Final answer here, 15x squared Let's see, minus 29x minus 14. And there's your final answer for that one. Now the last type of example is when you have a binomial and a trinomial. Now it doesn't really matter whether, bi whether the binomial comes first or second 
And if you prefer it one way or the other, you can move it to the other side. Uh, we could have moved the 6e plus 1 over here and done it that way. But let's show what happens when we leave it as is. So I'm going to start, and this is why you don't uh, want to just use foil, because sometimes you have a trinomial in there and maybe two trinomials. If I take 3e squared and I distribute it, I get 18e to the third plus 3e to the second. Now I'm going to take the negative 5e and distribute it. Negative 30e to the second minus 5e. Now, once you get here, if you start to draw more lines for the 7, you're going to get something that pretty much looks like spaghetti, especially if you're drawing the lines with just a pencil. So instead, what I do is I underline what I'm multiplying as I go so that it keeps, uh, helps me keep track of it. So 7 times 6e is a positive 42e. 7 times 1 is 7. Now all I need to do is add these up, the ones that are like terms, 18e to the third. These two are like terms. That leaves me with negative 27e to the second. These are like terms. That would be a positive 37e plus 7. And there you have multiplying a trinomial times a binomial. Now, you give this one a try. It does not matter to me whether you change the um, order of these or leave it as is, but try distributing it. See what you get. As you unpause, you now have the opportunity for me to go through this. I'm going to take the x and distribute. So I get x to the third plus 3x to the second plus 2x. Then I'm going to distribute the 4 plus 4x squared plus 12x plus 8. Now, that was awfully nice to be able to just draw the lines out, unlike the previous one, which was a little harder because you had to underline, because otherwise it looks like spaghetti. Now, the difference is, when I go to find my like terms, in the past one, they were right next to each other. This time, they're separated. Now, that may not be a big deal to you, but for some people, that it makes the problem just a little bit harder. And there is your answer. x to the third plus 7x squared plus 14x plus 8. And that's all there is to it, folks. I hope this was helpful. Have a great day.